everyone, welcome to Mama From Scratch. My name is Emily. Today I am sharing with you my pantry organization and I am so happy to finally have tackled this area in our home. It has taken me over the years to finally realize that I need to have this space be very functional, especially now that my little ones are getting a little bit older and they just go into the pantry and pull out the food that they want or that they think they want. And I realized that it was just an absolute disaster. Now, of course, over the years, I have collected, you know, um, different food containers and things like that. And I th thought that, oh yes, this will organize my space. But I never actually took the time to organize each shelf and make sure that each shelf had a purpose. This video is also a collaboration with my friend Jennifer over at The Family Fudge. She is such a doll. You guys are absolutely going to love her. If you haven't checked her out, I will leave her down below for you to do so. She shares recipes, hauls lifestyle videos and basically how to live on a budget we both shop at Costco and so having to organize a pantry um, for a normal day is one thing but then having to organize it with bulk foods and figuring out how to store that that took me a little bit to figure out so I am really excited to see the way she decides to organize her space I will be also using Dollar Tree bins to help me organize my space a few tips I have along the way Dollar Tree container I picked up were these um, fridge soda can holders in springtime and I have a few of these and I thought these would make great organizers. It's supposed to be a garbage can but I thought this would be great for um, putting maybe onions in. Or last three styles I have are these ones. Um, they didn't have um, the aqua color in this one which is okay but I thought these would be really good and useful. Online dollar store hauler I picked up this along when I did my bathroom organization video. And um, I really like this. It's an under the shelf um, holder, but it's so sturdy and thick. And I picked up two of these and they were like $3 a piece, which was such a steal. And um, shelf helper at TJ Maxx. The ones at Dollar Tree are a little bit shorter, but they weren't tall enough to fit, um, to get these ones to fit underneath. And that is what I needed to do. So that way I wouldn't have to put in a whole new shelf all of the items I have to help me organize the pantry. So let's get started. Okay, so here is the before. This is really wretched looking. Um, now looking back at this, I'm kind of appalled that I'm showing you this, but this is real life. And so the first thing you're going to want to do is start clearing off the shelves. This is pretty explanatory, but just take everything out and then start wiping it down. That is the best thing to do. That way if there's any grime, things like that. If you need to repaint, repaint it then. I decided not to. And then I'm just organizing here the cans. And you can see that the larger soup cans did not fit. But that is okay. It held most uh, normal size cans, which is what I needed it to do. And um, then I just started working each shelf and started to rearrange the thing items the way I thought would best fit and be utilizing the space. I started stacking um, like extra things in the back because that is the area that I don't use quite as often. And so just think about that as you're going through your space. I liked the larger bins from Dollar Tree to kind of group bigger items together like my pastas. And then I also used it to group together kind of more dessert foods or... Have you guys ever had these things? They're called um, Raisels. They're like sour grapes. Um, with different flavors. I decided to take items that I did not use quite often, more of my specialty items, and put them into the jars that I already had just to help keep them fresh. And then the large bags of oatmeal that I get from Costco went into these um, snapware bins that I actually got from Costco last year and I wish they would carry them again because they fit the huge boxes of Bisquick and cereals in them perfectly. And then this is a five pound bag of flour that fits perfectly into this glass jar. And then here is another little hack for you. Um, take some Dollar Tree pans and some marbles, put it on the bottom and then you have your own lazy soup which is perfect. Then I just took these uh, labels from Dollar Tree and started labeling things that I needed to um, label. And so this is the before disaster. Very, very bad. I'm sorry, but real life here. And this is the after. I cannot tell you how pleased I am. My husband was so shocked. He's like, this looks good. I was like, thank you. I am so happy with it. And it is so very, very functional. So I'm going to start with the before on each of the shelves. And this is what the top shelf looked like. And so I just kept all the alcohol up top. I added my mixer up there since I don't use that. Some 
drink mixes, and then I have our dessert um, bin right here, and then I have all the candy in the far corner in boxed, and then the next shelf was, oh boy, just a disaster. And so you can tell I've moved things around, so I made a bin specifically for just my Thai and Asian foods that I really like, and then I used the Lazy Susan for different sauces and things that I cook with, and I thought that was really good use of the space, and then I have some extra things in the back there that I don't use very often. Then I have a container for just crackers and chips and things like that that I don't put into containers. And then I have um, vegetable broth there, and then I have my pasta container. And then up top you will see I have a few bins, ones like salad toppings, breadcrumbs, and then some random like taco shells, things like that. And then I put our pasta sauce here, and then on the corner, which I don't access very often, is just like my vinegars and things. The next shelf, um, I added this little extra snack bin just for things that I get back from the stores and things like that. And then I have my flour, sugar, whole wheat flour, bisquick, and then I started um, categorizing everything into the bins that I already had. So I actually repurposed some nut bins and um, put duct tape on them with and just labeled it for raisins and dates. And then I used the raisin containers from Costco and just covered them with Dollar Tree duct tape, which you can kind of see through it, but you can't when everything's on the shelf. And then a two by four and covered it so they have your own shelf risers. It doesn't cost anything. And then all of these containers are from Home Goods. And then I have some baking stuff that I don't use as often in the corner. So I'm making sure I'm putting everything that I don't use as often in the corners because it's kind of hidden. And all of these bins here, containers, I got for two to three dollars. And then back on this shelf, I put, like I said, things I don't use as very often, some extra things here. And then I have rice, oatmeal, cereals, some uh, pretzels and snacks. And then in these bins right here in the corner is where I put um, my granola bars and things like that for travel foods, but it also helps keep the critters out. And then this bottom shelf, I put um, paper towels, just as extra storage back there, onions, I have a garlic here, and then I use these stackable bins for potatoes, which worked really well, these are breathable. Then I just added these shelf supports here because the shelves were sagging and because there is quite a bit of weight on them. And then I just categorized all the beans into these soda can holders and this was so nice. These babies organized so very well and I even have some extra space in the corner. Here is that hauler basket and I just stored some canned soups and some extras like tuna and things like that that we don't use very often but I could slide it over into the corner and still access it utilizing that empty space there. So I was really happy about that. And for the very bottom is where I decided to store my bulk foods. I was going to store it at the very top, but it's really hard to access and I can't store as much at the very top. So I decided to store things that were basically in containers and then I have a big container for items that I don't want if they're having to get another critter to keep them out. And I like these. All I have to do is slide it out and I can store my raisins, rice, pasta, oatmeal, sugars and flours. Um, granola, granola bars, little bits of candy, things like that, that I can access and I know exactly where it is. It's easy for me to pull out and see. Um, that way if I need to go shopping, I know what I need to buy and I don't need to buy. Look how far we have come from the beginning. This disaster to a now organized, very functional and pretty space. Everything has a particular spot and it will be easy for me to take inventory before I go to the grocery store. Hopefully I have motivated you now to tackle your pantry. I know it can be a bit overwhelming, but just know how functional it will be after you do it. And you do not have to break the bank. I spent about $13 to do this whole entire space by utilizing what I had already. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Be sure to go check out Jennifer over at The Family Fudge and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. I hope you guys have a beautiful blessed day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.